Hey there all, cider lovers. Thank you very much for joining me for this review, a special review, because this is number 1,800, review number 1,800. So that's a little bit of a milestone, isn't it? Uh, we are taking a trip, guys, as always, for the cider. We're heading to the UK, and I think all of you cider lovers out there, you recognize the cider. Uh, we are going, of course, to Weston's uh, Cider Makers and taking a look at their Stalford Press Apple Cider. This one, guys, is a, it comes to us in a 500 ml bottle, weighing in at 4.5%. You can see it there. Uh, and a lot of text, basically. And they say, contains sugars and sweeteners, contains sulfites, sulfites to preserve freshness. Clear glass bottle, lovely traditional uh, label. There you go. Just a plain bottle cap on it as well. Uh, so, yeah, guys, I'm going to review this one. Uh, I think, for me, this is going to be a special review because this is actually the gateway cider for the cider fanatic. This is my gateway cider, the cider that basically started it all. So, but I mean, we have to go back a little bit in time, right? So with that said, let's get that uh, top popped up and see what we get. Perfect. Lovely little bit of smoke. And this is going to into a traditional pint glass because that's how you're going to drink this one. There you go. Right. So, lovely pour, a little bit of a rapid pour on my behalf. Of course, we're not going to have any back-end sediments on this one. This is a, of course, and I'm co coming into that, of course. This is an industrially made cider, of course. It's a traditional cider. It's not a craft cider by any means. It's This is more of a traditionally made Kind of what some people would say, a generic kind of supermarket cider, basically. But for me, it's a little bit more than that. So uh, I basically started drinking ciders uh, like I, I was basically like 18 years old. Started to go out because that's the legal age of drinking in Sweden, of course. If you're going to go out to pubs and bars and, you know, nightclubs and what have you. Uh, and I, but I started out drinking you know, the generic kind of stuff, uh, Swedish stuff like uh, Copperbergs, Recorderligs, and those types, and Halyumja, those types of ciders, and of course a lot of beers as well. But that's another story. But uh, I kind of segued in, into British ciders with this one. Picked this one up uh, when I was first. I think I was eighteen, guys, and this one basically got me hooked Stauford press uh there you go look at that we've got a nice honey golden color good deal of carbonation on it uh lovely pour let's get a nose on it before we start to further discuss and taste it yeah so to be honest there's not not way much there on the nose to be honest it's very very faint uh apple nose on it yeah, faint apple nose, but it's ever so faint. But so yeah, to, to to be honest, there not much on the nose, but we will just have to go to the taste. With that said, guys, cheers. Oh yeah. And to be quite honest with you, this is, in my book, just my opinion, but my personal opinion, this is a very, very nice uh, traditional cider. Very, very nice. I, and of course, this is combined with a lot of kind of nostalgia. It's a nostalgia trip drinking this one. It's a little bit of a walk down memory lane. You know, it's a little bit, little bit of that, a little bit of personal history involved here. Uh, kind of, I mean, but that, that's the thing with uh, with ciders and beers and all that. You know, it's personal because your taste is personal. You've got your uh, s taste buds. They are quite subjective, of course. Now, with that said, let's go for the taste to see what we have. So 
So I think this one has a pretty nice apple taste about it. It is, to be fair and to be honest, a little bit watery at the back end, but I don't mind that. Let's uh, get things into perspective here. It's a 4.5% cider, guys. It's a 4.5% cider, as you saw there, 4.5%. So don't expect much in the way of perhaps body and so on. It's got a good carbonation on it, good apple taste, and it's got a good sweetness about it. And now, when I say sweetness, because as, as I said, this one contains sugar, contains uh, 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 flavorings probably, or uh, uh, sweeteners rather, sweeteners. So, of course, that's going to add to the sweetness. But I think it's a little bit more of a natural sweetness in my book when, I, when it comes to the taste. And it doesn't really taste artificial in my book. So I think this is a nice cider. It's not, it's sweet, semi-sweet perhaps rather, but it's not cloyingly sweet at all. It's not artificial in its sweetness. And I really do like that. So it kind of, it's a good balanced cider. Yeah, I mean, it's very, very nice. For me, it's easy drinking, easy going, but it's got some good apple flavor. A little bit of a slight acidity to it. Nice sweetness. I mean, I can't complain for what it is, guys. And as I said, it's a traditionally made cider, 4.5%. It's quite, and you have to factor in the price as well. It's a quite uh, 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 an affordable cider. I mean, for me, like, I think I paid, I don't know what you pay, you guys in the UK are paying for this one, but I, I would think it's like, perhaps like the two pound mark, something like that. Uh, but for me, guys, this is a lot of memory to this one. A lot of memories attached to this one. Uh, my gateway cider, for sure. This one started it all for me. And of course, I'm as I said, uh, and I have said in, repeatedly in many reviews, I'm not a cider snob. I can drink a 20 pound cider, no sweat. And I can also drink these ciders for like two pounds, one pound 50, perhaps. I don't know. I don't have a problem with that. For me, it's about taste. And this is about uh, my gateway side. A little bit of personal note there, guys, for this review number 1,800 here on YouTube. Uh, for me, I'm going to rate it. I'm going to give it a solid four out of five for what it is. It's an excellent traditional generic cider. Uh, and I can recommend it. Thank you for watching.